In this chapter we are going to take a look at Teams. So in this video I would like to give you some introduction to Teams. And my first thought would be why at all do we have something that we call a team or, or organizing a group of people that we will call team? Well, because as history revealed, teams are effective means for management to democratize organization and increase employee motivation. This is what you will find in the upcoming chapter. And now, at least from my perspective, to begin with, it is necessary to understand the difference between groups and teams. So let's take a look at it. We will have some groups and then we will have teams. About groups we have talked in previous video and we have concluded that groups are two or more individuals, interacting and independent, who came together to achieve particular objectives. So to achieve particular objectives, particular objectives. And now their performance within the group is merely a summation of each group members individual effort. So if you would imagine if we have, uh, if we have uh, free workers, such as in this case, and each of them is able to produce individually 20 units per day. So 20, 20 and 20. When they will be working together as a group, they will produce only uh, 60, uh, 60 units. And we have also had an examples that sometimes it can be even less when they are working in a group because of some uh, norms. And the result can be actually maybe let's say 45 45 so groups are actually not a tool for better organization of work but now we are moving to teams these are groups that generate positive synergy so we have positive synergy through coordinated effort so coordinated effort and positive synergy these two terms you are going to meet a lot in the upcoming videos so positive synergy and coordinated effort and the individual efforts result in a level of performance greater than greater than the sum of those individual inputs so again if we would have if we would have like in this case 20 20 and 20 units per day we would have the same so 20 20 and let me write it differently so 20 and 20 and now we decide that we are going to organize them as a team so this is going to be uh, our team our team and thanks to some positive synergy and coordinated effort they are maybe going to produce 80 units when they are working as a team so let's think about an example let's say that here we have some uh let's say it's our assembly line so this is our assembly line assembly line and we decide that we are going to test how groups can perform and how many units they can produce and then teams so what will a group do well let's say that those are the free individuals and they have a particular objectives of producing the units so they will simply say hey i'm gonna come to the first table so let's say we need a free activity so this is our first activity second activity and third so what a group will do is that they will tell themselves, okay, I'm going to come to activity one and then I'm going to work on the second one and on the third one. So I'm going to work actually as an individual for maybe eight hours and then the other one is going to work for eight hours and then the third one is going to work for eight hours again. So they essentially work as individuals and their performance is merely a summation of uh, each individual effort. However, when a team comes here, they will work differently. So one of these will go to activity one. So here will be first team member, then here will be the second team member, and then here will be the third team member. So they have coordinated their effort and there is a positive synergy. And thanks to that, the performance is going to be greater than the sum of those individual inputs. So that was the introduction to teams.